saying hello on October 10th, 2009 from Robert Hall Originals. Right in front of me is Robert, the artist himself, a pewter artist. And Robert is going to show us his studio, how he makes the beautiful pewter work that he's so well known for. Okay. Yes. Pewter basically originally mm -hmm. was tin and lead. Uh -huh. And nowadays it's totally lead free. Mm -hmm. So what we have is 98% tin and the other 2% is made up of copper, antimony, and silver. So we know that what we have is totally lead free. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that doesn't apply to all the other countries in the world. Of course, yeah. Uh, and just because ours is lead free doesn't mean all pewter is lead free. Mm -hmm. So when we start the process, what we have to do first is we have to take and sculpt the original design. Uh huh. So when you're looking at um, every single design there, mm -hmm. you have to realize it comes from somewhere. And we actually have to step back to the pencil and paper mm -hmm. and sketch it out and start from there. And then you see that, like this, it's all hand sculpted. So this is what the final would look like. This is not the negative, but the positive of the image. I guess so, yes. Yeah, yeah. This is out of clay. Mm -hmm. and it's When you start to work with it, it's like plasticine. And then we sculpt it out very carefully. And then when wow. we're all finished, it's hardened. Mm -hmm. and then once this is done, clay, actually? Well, it's a type of modeling clay. Yeah. Right, it's right. Hard. Interesting, eh? So now it's quite hard. Mm -hmm. So I guess, you know, when you look at it, think in terms of the design and models, you sort of look at it in terms of, you know, like, well, how long did that take? Mm -hmm. Of course, the question is, well, how long would it take you to do that? Oh, God. <laughs> it would never turn out that way. <laughs> It'd be a stick yeah. horse, so, if anything. Yeah, so it kind of puts an appreciation the fact that, you know, there's people out there in the world that oh, can yeah. actually do that. Absolutely, sort of yeah. Something that most of us would have no hope, mm -hmm. hope of ever being able to do. So once we've created the original model, mm -hmm. then what we do is make a rubber mold. The rubber molding process yeah. is the same process you go through to make tires for an automobile. Hmm. So if I take uh, a model and take it and put it between the two layers of rubber and squish uh -huh. it together hard right. enough, you can appreciate there's going to be uh, an impression on the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what we do. We put it in a vulcanizer under about oh. a ton and a half of pressure at 350 Jeez. degrees for an hour. Uh -huh. And it squeezes it down and melts the rubber and cooks it. And then when it's finished, we take it, open it up, and then you've created the cavities of mold, where those yeah. models were. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we actually have something to pour the metal into. Mm -hmm. Well, the casting machine's job is pretty simple. That's the little fellow over there with all the valves and buttons and so the, on. This one here on the left is yeah, the casting machine? Over. Okay. Yeah. Now, this job is quite simple. All it's going to do is squeeze it together and spin it around. Mm -hmm. And as it does that, we're going to melt the pewter port in the center, and it's going to fill up those cavities that we had there. But to do that, now we have to cut... Mm -hmm. Channels to get it to flow right. out to there. Just Those are the thought, runners, right? Yeah, just when you thought we were getting close to actually being able to cast something. Uh huh. So now that we've done that, we're finally getting close enough that we could actually cast something out of pewter. Mm hmm. So let me just grab them on here. There's one. So we'll just put this into the casting machine. Mm hmm. And remembering that it. All it's going to do is squeeze it again and spin it around. In the meantime, we've taken the pewter and melted Oh, this it. is melted pewter right here. And this is what it looks like when it's melted. Wow, this is amazing. So you can see that. What temperature would that be there? So it's only 550 degrees. So it's Celsius? not really that hot. Okay. Oh, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, okay. Um, Compared to gold and silver, which is anywhere from 13 to 1700 degrees, suddenly 550 degrees doesn't sound so hot. So it, it has a much lower melting point yeah. than, than other metals. Because the metals. gold or silver at mm -hmm. 1700 degrees, if I put that in there, it's so hot it yeah. literally burn a hole yeah. right through the rubber. Right. So suddenly right. 550 degrees isn't so hot because I can put it into the rubber mold mm -hmm. and do it, use it over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see if we can cast here. Then we spin. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's just spinning around, and while it's doing that, we put a little bit of 
that melted pewter into the machine. Uh huh. That's it. That's it. Part everybody likes to see. Yeah, kind of helps people. to know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that means once it's cast, every single piece needs some post-processing, right? You need to take it out, take the runners off, take oh, yes, it's polish it. Uh, it doesn't look like pewter yet. Right. So obviously there's got to be a little more to the story. So this is not hot right now, huh? Oh, yes. Definitely Inside, hot. yes, but the rubber is okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's... You see how it filled out those cavities? Look at huh? that. Look at what we have here. A letter opener. We've got some skates. What is this here? This, oh, this is a curling, yeah, curling right, equipment. Yeah. Uh, this is a Canadian theme, obviously. Yeah, that's there curling we go. and skating. Mm -hmm. and that was the, uh, I broke it. Mm -hmm. it so hot that it hadn't cooled enough oh, to yeah, stay solid. No, that's right. So that's the uh, letter opener mm -hmm. we're doing right now for, um, actually, McMaster University. Mm -hmm. That's their new engineering building. Well, and well. Mm -hmm. So we're... Uh, doing that for them. Yeah. So when this is done, you would sort of cut it off, cut the runners off, and then gr polish it or well, smoothen it out somehow? Well, let's take a look at what we would do next. Mm -hmm. So certainly we have to break these pieces off, and you uh -huh. can see there's little rough edges on there. Yeah, exactly. So at that point, we'd take a knife or mm -hmm. a file mm -hmm. to clean them off. So, so there is a manual process involved, yeah. Yep. And at that point, mm -hmm. then you can take you look at it and you realize it still doesn't look like pewter, it's just a flat white metal. So right. obviously it's going to be a little more to the story. Yeah. Okay, so let's go over and I'll show you the rest of the story. Okay, great. You can get an idea of what it, what it's going what to What it takes, what it takes. Thank you, Robert.